Now, not all houses have the same heating systems. This one is a forced air heating system. You can also hook an air conditioning unit up to it, but currently there is not one hooked up to this unit. Different components of the furnace on a hot air system. To the left, we start with the ductwork. That's a return duct. What that does is that brings the air back to the furnace, which takes us to the filter right there. Usually there's like uh, a one inch, a two inch, a three inch filter, maybe an electronic filter there. And then you have your furnace blower, which is inside the cabinet here. And then it'll go up to the furnace itself where you have the heating. Usually it's called the heat exchanger. And then up above you have the supply duct, which goes to the ducting and pushes the hot air or cold air out to where it needs to go throughout the house. This side here is the return side, brings all the air back to recycle it back through. The right of the furnace are these two white PVC pipes. One is the fresh air intake that brings fresh air into the furnace for combustion. The other is the exhaust pipe that exhausts the air after combustion. They're PVC pipes because this is a high efficiency furnace. If your furnace is not a high efficiency furnace, it will have metal piping. Down there on the ground, that's called a condensate pump. What that allows for any condensation that comes out of the furnace. We'll go down into this pump and there's a little float in it and it'll get pumped right out through this little tube right into the drain system of the house. This is a main gas shut off for this gas furnace. And there should be an emergency shut off switch. I don't see one. It might be at the top of the stairs. It's it right there. It's a little high. So if some of them were short, they wouldn't be able to reach it. Kind of odd. 